What is going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we are doing a AEW versus WWE War Games match. And starting off in the ring we have Roman Reigns versus the Kenny Omega. And I wanted to pick guys that didn't come from either company and go to the other. So for instance we don't have John Moxley, Brian Danielson for AEW. None of those guys and we don't have like a Cody Rhodes for WWE. I wanted to pick guys that were authentic. Not necessarily authentically built from that company. I'll tell you more as it goes along, but I don't really want to spoil who else is in this match. But Roman Reigns is taking control of very easily. I do want to say the guys in this match I feel like are even appropriate overall since all of the AEW guys are custom made. Like Kenny Omega, I believe, is like a 97 compared to Roman Reigns, obviously 99 that he has in this game. But Roman Reigns is just dominating Kenny Omega with a little counter there. And I do believe Team AEW has the advantage as well. I didn't set that, so don't blame me for that. That's just what the game did. I set it on random. They were talking about it during the entrances. It's the only reason that I know. But Kenny Omega is kind of taking control here for sure. He goes underneath the German suplex. Roman Reigns is kind of not looking like an undisputed champion here. Not that he ever does really at the start of his matches. We only have 10 seconds until the next entry. Roman Reigns with the big Samoa drop. Who will the next entrant be? I know it's for Team AEW. I don't remember who comes out second. The door is open. Oh no, the entrant is for Brock Lesnar. My bad. I for so I guess the advantage is WWE. I don't really know how the advantage works. Like, does the advantage mean you come in last or? He's putting a table in the ring though, so that's a pretty good, pretty good sign that we're gonna get something interesting from Brock Lesnar. Oh, he's grabbing something else. He's grabbing another table. All right, Brock's really getting action going here in this match. Man hasn't even entered the cage yet, but two tables have. It might not go so well though, considering Kenny Omega set one up. As it's just him and Roman. Roman taking Kenny Omega up to it. Maybe they're gonna take use of this advantage here. Is Brock going to set one up in the other corner? No, he's just going to set it up on the side of the ring. Roman Reigns tries to whip Kenny. He does whip Kenny into it. Roman, is he going to slam Kenny through the table already? Roman, and he puts Kenny Omega through the table as Brock Lesnar throws the other table into the other ring over there. Brock hasn't really done, but okay, he finally grabs Kenny Omega. Throws him into the middle of the ring, into the other ring. They have this two-on-one advantage, but it seems like they haven't really done much with it as the next AEW guy already comes in in 10 seconds. And all they've done is put him through a table. Who will come out next for Team AEW? For AEW, you have Hangman Adam Page. Brock's going up to the top of the... Okay, never mind. He, he got back down. Adam Page immediately grabbing that table that Roman Reigns threw back to the other side a minute ago. And now he can finally go help out Kenny Omega. He's still got his jacket on for some reason. We don't worry about that. That was just a slight customization mistake. Kenny looking for something on Roman here. I'm not exactly sure what. A power driver? Okay. He hits a nice little double hooked power driver on Roman Reigns there. As Hillman and Hangman, obviously we know from them two from working in the Elite together. I was going to say they have great chemistry, but then Kenny Omega just broke up his Irish whip. Brock's back up. Hangman's not really paying attention. And if you think about it, Hangman and Brock are like kind of the same person. Roman with the big slam on, on Hangman Adam Page. That's Kenny Omega hits Brock with the suplex. Roman with the combos. All right, now he's going up to the top of the cage and a pile driver on Brock Lesnar from Kenny Omega here. Roman gets back down from the cage as well. Will we actually see anyone go up to the top of the cage here in this match? Kenny gets sent back to the ring with the table in it as Roman gets attacked from behind by Adam Page. Kenny doesn't want to be in that ring, so he's going straight back to the other one. Adam Page with the suplex. Next up for Team WWE is none other than Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. Another thing I didn't do for this match is you won't see like a John Cena or a Randy Orton because I wanted to keep it guys that are currently active. Rey Mysterio was going for a quick move, but then Brock had to just kind of 
throw Kenny Omega away. Will we see anybody else bring tables or any kind of weapons into this match? Brock was the only one that threw two in here, but nobody else has seemed to stop and grab them. They've just been worried about getting the advantage. Ray is putting in some work on Hangman, though. Why are you trying to attack Brock, Ray? I know you all had your history, but dang. Ray whips Kenny Omega into the corner, but he gets a quick counter there. Ray countering right back. Ray's kind of dominating since he came in this match, being the fresh competitor. Roman over here with Adam Page up. Brock and Ray both going up at the same time. Ray with the elbow drop, and Kenny Omega rolls out of the way. Roman Reigns is getting pieced up by Adam Page. Kenny Omega with the big knee. There's so much action in both rings to try to keep a hold of. Kenny Omega setting up south. Oh my god, he hits him with the knee. Kenny Omega going up. As AEW is about to get their third competitor in the match. Kenny Omega with an elbow drop and Rey Mysterio does not get out of the way in time. Brock and Roman still not using this table as Sammy Guevara comes in for Team AEW. He is going to grab a sledgehammer. So that's huge. Maybe we'll get a little bit more play in this match. As it looks like Team AEW doesn't really need him. They already have Ray on the ground. And then Brock... Well, they were dominating Brock and Roman. Not anymore, however. Sammy Guevara with that sledgehammer comes in and straight away goes after the undisputed champion, Roman Reigns. Oh, I thought Brock was going for an F5 for a second. Rey Mysterio hitting the three amigos on Hangman Adam Page here. Roman's got that sledgehammer, taking it to Kenny Omega in the corner. Brock's going back up to the top for like a fifth time. But he never actually does anything. Oh, this time with a double axe handle to Kenny Omega. Okay, I don't feel like we see Brock go up there very often. Sammy Guevara with a nice little headlock takedown on Roman Reigns. Don't think that was a move we really needed a cinematic angle on. Oh, Ray with a nice tornado DDT on Hangman Adam Page there. And Team WWE is dominating right now. Ray picks up the sledgehammer but thinks it's twice. He's just a, such a nice guy. Sammy Guevara with a huge knee to Roman as he had the sledgehammer in his hands. Team WWE getting their final member as Seth freaking Rollins runs into the match. Maybe he'll grab some weapons. We all know Seth loves weapons. Nope, he just comes straight into the match. Disregards everything I just said. But Team WWE is already kind of dominating without him. So we'll see how well this having this advantage works for them. Ray picks up that sledgehammer. Brock's just kind of standing in the corner. Ray is still just trying to attack Brock. He's been trying all match. Sammy Guevara with the Frankensteiner on Brock Lesnar. Sorry, there's just so much to pay attention to here, so I'm missing so much. Kenny throws Brock to the other side of the ring. As Seth looks on, he grabs Kenny from the middle, actually. We got Kenny. Oh, Sammy Guevara off the ropes. Sammy Guevara throws Roman to the other side of the ring. Back with another springboard on the Seth freaking Rollins. Sammy Guevara's brought a lot of energy into this match. Brock with an Irish whip to Kenny, but we're going to see the slam from Roman Reigns instead. Rey Mysterio taking down Adam Page. Roman Reigns with a huge clothesline. Is Brock looking to put Kenny through that table? He's not. He's just going to hit him with a snake, guys. AEW is getting their final member into this match, and none other than the AEW World Champion MJF as Brock Lesnar goes from her elbow from the top rope, but Kenny Omega evades. Kenny Omega looking for something here. Is he looking for the one-winged angel? He hits it. He hits the one-winged angel, but I don't believe they can pin yet because MJF is pulling out stop signs and kendo sticks instead of actually getting into the ring. Roman has Adam Page in a, in a submission right now. Seth Rollins takes it to his back with that sledgehammer. MJF finally entering the ring after grabbing some weapons. And the match has officially started. So now is where we're going to start seeing pinfalls, submissions, people actually trying to end this match as Sammy takes the stop sign to Brock Lesnar's head. It looked like he was going to hit MJF for a minute and AEW is absolutely dominating. 
Sammy Guevara taking that table over to the other side of the ring and hitting Seth straight in the back with it. Rey Mysterio with the stop sign. Sammy Guevara takes it from him. Seth Rollins setting up the table on the other side of the ring. So we've got a 3v2 for AEW on the left side and a 2v1 for WWE on the other side. And they've got Adam Page down. It's a little bit of a shield reunion. Got Adam Page on the ground. MJF double axe handle off the side of the cage. Will they do a double power bomb through the table to Adam Page? Seth throwing Adam Page at the table. Will it finally get used? Roman grabbing Adam Page for the power bomb. Will Seth Rollins assist like the show days? He will not, but the power bomb to Adam Page through the table. Rey Mysterio with the slight forearm to Kenny Omega over there. Goes for the Enziguri, misses. They're having a three on one beat down to Rey Mysterio as Roman and Seth, two thirds of the shield, are having a beat down to Adam Page. These chair shots are just going one after another from MJF here. Sammy Guevara just throwing the stop sign down at Brock Lesnar. Will we see something crazy from Sammy Guevara here? Nope, just an elbow drop in which he misses as it goes to a Roman Reigns slam and the first pin attempt of the match. And Adam Page kicks out of just a two count. Kenny Omega was right there to break it up if he needed. And now Adam Page is, now that he has backup, he's just going to absolutely take it to Seth Rollins with the sledgehammer. Now if you look, before he threw Roman Reigns to that side of the ring, we had Kenny Omega and Adam Page, the Elite, versus Roman and Seth, the Shield. If you guys think I should do another War Games match, maybe a three-on-three -three with the Shield versus the Elite, or maybe we'll even go the Bloodline versus the Elite, let me know in the comments down below. Sammy Guevara is absolutely manhandling Brock Lesnar with that Kendo stick right now. As Ray and Seth have this nice 2v1 versus Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega's in a crossface. Will he tap to Seth Rollins here? What an anticlimactic way to end this match that would be. As Kenny Omega, is he gonna tap? Is he gonna tap? No, he breaks out of the crossface from Seth. Adam Page going for the pin on Brock Lesnar. No way. Okay, Roman breaks up the pin count here. Oh, MJF with a spear on Rey Mysterio. And then a kip up immediately after. MJF with a nice little kip of his own. Ray goes to the top. Hurricane Rana to Kenny Omega. A little West Coast pop maneuver there. Sammy Guevara and Adam Page have Brock and Roman down on one side of the ring. MJF sitting at his armor. Seth, break up the break up the submission. This could be the end of the match. Okay, Seth with a break up there finally. After Ray was about to tap. Kenny Omega with the combo. Alrighty, you're an Augie to Seth Rollins. Adam Page taking care of Brock Lesnar over here in the corner. Just giving him those constant shoulder blocks. Sammy Guevara back with the kendo stick. If there's anything we've learned from this match is that Sammy Guevara loves his kendo stick. MJF with the handstand springboard stunner. Don't know where that came from. Adam Page with the pile driver. He doesn't do the pin combo with it. As Brock Lesnar's right there. MJF slamming Seth Rollins to the mat. Kenny Omega with the pin on Ray And MJF with the pin on Seth. Oh, Rey Mysterio barely kicks out before the three count. I really thought that was the end of the match there. Everybody's moving over to the other side of the ring as Brock Lesnar picks up Kenny Omega for the bear hug. No success as Adam Page. Sorry, I couldn't even finish my sentence. Sammy Guevara distracted me by springboarding into the empty ring on the other side. As MJF now is getting thrown to the left ring as the right side looks to get a little too crowded for Seth Rollins here. Ray to the top, never mind, he backs down. Seth Rollins and MJF for one on one to the left. If there was any chance for a pin, it would be now. Ray Mysterio is going over there to help out Seth. Maybe get a little two on one action. Never mind, Kenny Omega's following right behind. Brock Lesnar with the pin as Adam Page breaks it up at a two count. Kenny Omega reverses Seth Rollins there. MJF's taking it to Rey Mysterio. Then Brock Lesnar with the snake eye. MJF and Brock both going up at the same time. Elbow drop from MJF. Moonsault from Kenny Omega. Elbow drop from Adam Page. Suplex from Sammy Guevara. That was like a four move tandem at one time, but Sammy up. Sammy's going all the way to the very top. Seth with the super kick. Get the camera on Sammy here. What is Sammy doing at the top of this war game's cage? 
Is he gonna go for a shooting star? No, just a crossbody. Down onto Roman Reigns. They're alone in that side of the ring. Will Sammy pin the Tribal Chief? No, Roman Reigns kicks out at the 2.99999 that we've known Roman Reigns to kick out of. Rey Mysterio with Adam Page who also kicks out of the two count. Brock just throwing the stop sign into Kenny Omega's head. Somebody's got to help Roman Reigns on the side of the ring. He's getting the absolute work by Sammy Guevara right now. Adam Page throwing Ray into the center. Is there a center spot coming here? No, Ray grabs Adam Page. Sammy going into the corner, looking for the 630. Roman rolls out of the way. Ray for a sit on and misses. Roman grabs Sammy Guevara, puts him in a, a headlock. Okay, I thought that was his submission. Brock with Kenny Omega on the other side of the ring, throwing him against the ropes, grabbing him for a German suplex. What a sell from Kenny Omega. Adam Page throwing Roman Reigns around now as Ray hits Sammy with the sledgehammer. Decides to be a good guy and not hit Adam with it. Sammy, go or MJF, sorry, gets out of Seth Rollins. MJF with Brock Lesnar in the corner. Rey Mysterio hitting a sit down face buster on Adam Page. Seth Rollins with Kenny Omega. What is he thinking? Sammy Guevara with, oh, Roman Reigns reverses the Brain Buster that time. Adam Page going for the pin on Ray. Roman tried to break it up, he failed. Sammy Guevara with the kick. Will Ray get pinned here? No, Ray kicks out at two. That was almost a three count. Honestly, it seemed like it was more than three seconds. MJF going up to the top here as Hillman Brock, he's going up to the very top as Hillman Brock Lesnar are left alone on the left side. MJF, what are you doing? You don't do this. With a crossbody to Brock Lesnar. A huge splash from the top of the War Games cage. Will that do it for Brock? One, two. Brock kicks out narrowly at a two count. Kenny Omega got Rey Mysterio up here. I thought he was going for the win to get Angel, but he went for the German suplex instead. No pin off that, however. Brock looks like he's setting up MJF for that five. Somebody from Team AEW better get over there. MJF with the reversal, however. MJF looking for the Alabama Slammer variation. MJF, what is he looking for on Brock Lesnar here? Oh my God, is that gonna be it? Oh my God, so Team AEW, MJF, Hangman Adam Page, Kenny Omega, Sammy Guevara have beaten Team WWE with MJF pinning the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. I hope you guys enjoyed that match. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out. Take care.